What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment. Now, the most frustrating thing that can happen on your zero turns whenever we are trying to mow is that for some reason, our mower will not mow straight. Now, here what we've got is the John Deere Z370R, and this is going to be the battery powered mower. So we are going to talk about how to adjust the tracking on this mower, and then also throw in another tidbit of information that you're gonna wanna know about for maybe later on once you've owned this mower for a while. Now, tracking is going to be how our mower moves whenever we have the sticks pushed all the way forward. So what we want is whenever we have both of those sticks brought in, pushed all the way forward, we want that mower mowing straight. But what we'll notice from time to time is that whenever we have those sticks both pushed in all the way going forward, we may have a veer from one side to the other. Now, there is a very easy, simple way that we can adjust this, and that is going to be with our two tracking bolts on this machine that are located in front of the sticks right here and right here. Now, all this is doing is adjusting the depth in which your stick can go forward on either side. So whenever we change the depth of that bolt, whether we screw that bolt in or screw that bolt out, that's either lessening the amount we can push that stick forward or adding to the depth that we can push it forward. So this is what's going to allow us to push those sticks all the way to keep us from going straight. Now, the nice thing is about on the Z370R is you actually have the tool on board right over here in this right hand compartment. We can actually get in there, pull out this tool right here and this is what's going to be our adjuster for these bolts now all this is is going to be a 13 millimeter socket that is on the end of this but as you can see it's going to fit great right here on these bolts where we can adjust these in or out now just like you would imagine just like any other bolt we're going to go righty tighty or right to drill that bolt in go left to go ahead and pull that bolt out and that is going to change the depth here like i said on these sticks to adjust that tracking. Now, let's say we get onto the mower here and we push our sticks all the way forward. And what we start to notice is our mower veer a little bit to the right. So what's happening here is that this means that our left hand motor is working harder or spinning just a little bit faster than our right hand motor. So what we need to do is if we are veering off to the right, we need to adjust our left hand screw. And what we probably need to do is screw that bolt down in just a little bit to allow a little less travel in this left hand side. And that is going to allow us to go straight. Same thing over here on the right hand side. Maybe we have this all the way adjusted out. So what we need to do to make up for that difference is let out our right hand side to be able to allow a little bit more travel to allow that right hand side to be able to go a little faster to catch up to get us going in a straight line. Either way, these adjustments can be made on the fly with the tool that is on your machine. Now, if you own a Z370R, you know that this is a battery operated machine and that our rear drive motors are driven from the battery rather than from hydrostatic motors that are running off of a gas powered engine. So the difference is too here, whenever we have our sticks and we are driving with them, when we're pushing these forward or pulling these back, what these are doing are actually hitting switches. So they are going to activate a switch whenever we push them forward that's going to tell those wheels to spin to take us going forward. And if we go backward, same thing. We're going to hit another switch that's telling these motors to go in reverse. So one thing that can happen is over the life of these machines, having these one thing that could get out of adjustment is going to be on another part of your levers. And that is going to be where the lever connects to that rocking mechanism. So right down here on the side, we're going to see the these two bolts right behind this shrouding that are connected to the brace that our handle mounts to here. And this is going to be the plate that has a little bit of adjustment fore and aft to make sure that these levers are in the neutral position. Now, what can happen is, is that if these are out of adjustment, once we've used them for a while, we've been pushing on these levers back and forth, we've been going over that bumpy terrain. Sometimes these things can get just a little bit out of adjustment. And what you may see happen is when you're in that neutral position, that one of your motors may want to still be trying to turn. And the reason why that's happening is because this plate needs adjustment either forward or backwards. So if you notice that whenever you are sitting still here and that your left hand or right hand motor is trying to go, whichever side is trying to go means that that side needs to be adjusted just a little bit. So what you have here is this plate with two 10 millimeter bolts that we can loosen up 
and slide that plate just a little bit forward or a little bit backward. And what this is doing is making sure that your lever is not making contact with that switch because whenever we have this more and we have our handles up and in place, we wanna be completely in the neutral position. But if that plate gets a little bit out of whack, a little bit out of adjustment, it could be touching your switch going either forward or backward, causing your mower to move just a little bit whenever you're supposed to be in the neutral position. So just know that this plate is here, it takes a 10 millimeter socket to loosen those up, and we're gonna either slide that forward or backward depending on which direction we're going. Now, if you're confused a little bit by this, I completely understand. So let's use the right hand side for an example. If for some reason we're sitting here and our handles are in and our right side is going, we can hear it moving. We can see that the mower is trying to turn a little bit to the right or maybe even a little bit to the left. What's happening is that plate is making contact with that switch. So what we need to do is go ahead and turn the mower off loosen those bolts up just a little bit, adjust that plate going forward. If we notice this, that the right hand side is trying to go back, if the right hand side is trying to go forward, then we need to adjust that plate and slide it back just a little bit. So what we're trying to do here is find this neutral position. Now, this is something this along with the tracking is going to be done at the dealership before you buy these mowers. This, this is going to be a maintenance type deal. So over time, the tracking can get out of adjustment and sometimes even our lever position can get out of adjustment. So this is to show you how to make those adjustments if you happen to have those issues. So guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, we just ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also guys, if you're needing any John Deere parts at all, make sure to go check us out at 247parts.com. And as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.